Well, you know what they say, third time's the charm. So, what I found out is, this is the new one. The holes are much smaller. Uh, and then the main jet, the holes are also much smaller. So I cleaned out the original ones, put them back. Obviously the bike was lacking fuel. That's why I would bog out. So those holes being bigger makes sense. So let's see if it works. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today, we are going to be taking out my carburetor by 2006 DR650. The bike doesn't want to start. Uh, if I spray starter fluid into the carb, it will start, but it doesn't stay on. So I believe the jet, one of the jets is blocked. Uh, and I'm guessing it's because whoever owned the bike before me cut a hole in it and there's some dirt got in. So I probably have to clean this airbox out too. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into removing this gas tank, removing the carb, and seeing if I can fix the bike. As you can see, it's pretty simple to remove. When I was trying to start the bike a couple days ago, it smells pretty bad. Uh, it smells like uh, varnish. So, it's bad gas, for sure. I don't know why the gas would be bad. I used the bike a little over a year ago. Uh, there's many things in my life I've used a little over a year ago and the gas doesn't smell this bad. So maybe water got in. Last time I rode it, I did ride through a rainstorm. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But anyways, carbs out. I'm gonna start cleaning the whole carb up. I'm gonna be working on the lift here as my work table, and we'll go from there. back in um, hopefully I did it right I didn't replace everything in there I have a bunch of leftovers so <laughs> that's not promising uh, yeah anywho let's put some gas in it and see what happens Should be enough. Put that on reserve.
guess I did it wrong. Turns out it's this puppy and it's blocked. You can't tell, but <laughs> it's blocked. So I'm 100% confident. So I'm 100% confident this will start now. So let's give it a go. Yes, on reserve. He on. By 100%, I mean like 3%. One thing I am worried about is uh, this looks like it had a jetting kit on there and I just ordered a basic carb rebuild kit. This whatever this thing is looks a lot different. This was the one I took out of it. Looks a lot different to the one that is in it. Now maybe more holes, bigger holes. So if I can't Fondle, finagle, dongle, this uh, carb to work when I'm throttling, I will take it apart again and replace that thing. So that's what I'm going to do now is see if I can tune it. Well, you know what they say, third time's the charm. So what I found out is 
This is the new one. The holes are much smaller. Uh, and then the main jet, the holes are also much smaller. So I cleaned out the original ones, put them back. Obviously the bike was lacking fuel. That's why I would bog out. So those holes being bigger makes sense. So let's see if it works. Yes, oh. obviously because I need a seat it for today guys bikes running took a cruise checks out I haven't ridden that thing in a year it's crazy how nimble it is I forgot how nimble it is but anyways uh, what I got to do is double check the tire pressure I should have done that before I rode but I didn't um, put on new brake levers because I had to cut these to fit in there and then my dumbass mounted this wrong I need to move it down and for some reason none of this stuff is working so I got to do that in the next week because then I'm off on my bike trip um, we are going on the trans Wisconsin adventure trail only about 200 miles of the 700 800 miles of it um, my buddy has the same DR uh, so I'm gonna load it into my truck drive up to where he lives and then drive another two hours north of there and then we'll start the trail where it's actually fun no reason of doing the whole trail uh that's not fun when we don't have much time to do it so thanks for tuning in as always be sure to like and subscribe 
if you find the content interesting interesting if not leave a negative comment like lots of people do and thanks again